What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a creamy shrimp pasta. This is the only pasta recipe you're gonna need, just a few ingredients, let's get right to it. All right, I'm starting off with some shrimp that's been cleaned in the vein. I'm gonna go ahead and season these up. And these seasonings and the rest of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below, so go ahead and check that out. But I seasoned them up, got them mixed together, and I went on and set these aside. Now to a large pan, I added in some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down. We want to be sure to not let it burn, so as soon as it melts, go ahead and add in your shrimp. Now these shrimp won't take very long at all, maybe two to three minutes. A minute on both sides or so. Here I'm just giving them a flip so that they can get that nice color on both sides. All right, now I'm gonna just take me a strainer spoon and go ahead and take these shrimp out the pan. And we're gonna leave behind some of that butter and all of those crispy bits. That's a lot of flavor. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my water. I'm gonna go ahead and salt it well and let that start preheating. Now to the pan that we left all that flavor, we're gonna add in some butter, some minced garlic, and the whites of a green onion. And then we're gonna add in something to the glaze. Here I'm gonna use some vodka, but you can just use some white wine or you can use chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir to scrape up them bits off the bottom. And once I got it scraped, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some lobster base. This is better than bouillon lobster base. Go ahead and give that a mix. And now it's time to add our heavy cream. Again, I will have the specific measurements listed in the description box below, so go ahead and check that out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in, get it well combined. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat just a little bit so it can come to a low rolling ball. Now it's time to go ahead and add in your pasta. I'm using some maphodine pasta. Go ahead and add that to your water and let it start boiling. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and shred up my cheese. I'm using a Parmesan today. You can use the stuff that's already shredded, but this will be a little bit better, but it's up to you. All right, once our pasta come to a nice slow boil, I'm gonna kill my heat first, and then I'm adding that cheese. Now be sure to turn off that heat before you add your cheese, otherwise your sauce won't turn out right. All right, once I got my cheese added, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice mix. You're gonna add a little bit of your cheese at a time. Try not to add it all at once. So I got some mixed in, then I went on and added the rest of it. All right, once this well combined starts to come together, your sauce will thicken. And if it gets too thick, you can always add some of that pasta water. All right, now I'm adding in some fresh parsley flakes. It's just gonna give it a little bit of freshness and color. Go ahead and get this mixed in. And by now your sauce should be starting to thicken. All right, now it's time to go in with that pasta that we cooked till it was al dente. And then we're gonna add in our shrimp on top and give all of this a nice mix. My sauce turns out perfect, but again, if it's a little too thick, you can always add a little bit of that pasta water, about a tablespoon or so, until it reaches the consistency that you want. And just like that, we got some creamy shrimp pasta. I told you this was easy, simple, just a few ingredients. You won't need another pasta recipe. If you want something a little different, all you gotta do is change out the protein. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like and subscribe for more. And oh yeah, oh yeah, that's off the chain. See you on the next one, deuces.